Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let us see what is coming towards you in love, Aquarius. Okay, please remember to like this video, share this video if you feel this video helped you. Adjust my camera, guy. It just seems like this is kind of all right, guys. <laughs> I have really, really bad OCD. Oh, geez. All right. What's coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Yeah, mental entrapment. New pathway. Transformation and communication. Okay. So a lot of overthinking, going crazy a little bit here. Okay. What's coming to Aquarius and love? What's coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. Ooh. Okay, what's coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. All right, two of wands. What's coming to Aquarius in love? What's coming to Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. So the two of wands represents a choice, right? You know, what are you going to do here? Two paths could be available to you. You can have a choice between two relationships, two people, but you have new pathways. So there's a reason why that came out. What's coming to Aquarius in love? What is coming to Aquarius in love? You have the tower, the four of wands. So I'm hearing there could be um, an unexpected proposal of some sort. Um, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, could be an engagement or a newcomer or just someone expressing some kind of feelings to you, making a romantic gesture, okay? And this could be something that's very shocking. Obviously, with the tower, this is like a sudden upheaval, a sudden change, okay? Especially with the Knight of Cups. So I feel like it has something to do with someone like offering you something, but it has to do with love, okay? What's coming to Aquarius in love? Aquarius. And I get that it's something that, I mean, I could surely see like a proposal with this for sure. Um, for those of you in existing connections, I can see that because I mean, it's like when the person proposes, the nine of swords, it's like, oh my God. It's just shocking. It's scary. Like, oh my God, are you really proposing to me? <laughs> All right, what's coming to Aquarius in love, please? Tell me more. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Uh, you have the Ten of Cups. You have the King of Swords. So you could be connected to another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm hearing Scorpio. We do have some water here too. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Um, so some of you could be having a new love with somebody in particular. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Two more cards. Three of Pentacles in the world. So I feel like that's what it's all about, Aquarius. Someone could be asking you for a relationship or asking to take the relationship to another level, which is like engagement or marriage or renewing vows or something like that. Now, for new love or just, you know, you're dealing with a person you're not in a relationship with, then, I mean, either way, this looks really good. I think this person is going to start discussing um, higher levels of commitment with you. You know, hey, let's, let's get together. Let's be in a relationship. Let's do this. I want to do this, right? The world is a new chapter especially next to the three of pentacles. And it's showing that, you know, you and this person could surely be um, life partners, okay? It's showing that this person um, 
could be the one that you've been looking for, Aquarius. So give it a shot. <laughs> um, two of Wands for Aquarius. Yep, that's what they want. Somebody wants to start a relationship with you. That's beautiful. <laughs> or get engaged, get married. Justice, Four of Wands. Heart fan at the bottom of the deck. So I'm sorry to ruin or spoil the surprise, guys. <laughs> But truth is, you got somebody who is definitely, definitely very interested in you. They have a lot of feelings for you. Um, you can have an abundance of love with with this person. You could have a joyous relationship with them, a, a harmonious one, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you guys are on the same page. You guys are on the same page. Nine of Swords for Aquarius. And I'm hearing that some of you, this freak could be getting a divorce. They could be telling you they're getting a divorce from somebody else. Okay, okay, that's not for all of you. So you're gonna have to decide what you want to do. You know, um, because I'm getting that this is something that happens swiftly. This is something that happens like, it's like there's a sense of urgency here. Okay, what do you wanna do? The world. Wow. Wowzers. <laughs> so, yeah, this could definitely be an Aquarius, another Aquarius. I see the King of Swords as Aquarius. Um, yeah, so I don't know, Aquarius. So you're going to have to decide what you want. Pretty straightforward reading. Um, this person surely very interested in you. Queen of Cups, Cancer Energy. Um, they want to show you that they're here to support you, that they're here to love you. They want to show you that they're here to be in your life for good. You know, some of you I'm hearing you're seeing 10, 10 a lot. You know, that's the world. That's the that's 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 the number of completion, success. Okay. Um, so it's up to you. What's coming to Aquarius in love? Some of you in marriages or relationships, you could be thinking about finally getting that divorce if you feel like your true Ten of Cups is out there, okay? And if you're questioning, is that a good idea? You know, is it worth it? Yes, it is. It is worth it. <laughs> it is surely worth it. An abundance of love is waiting on you with this person. Soulmate energy. Yep. So are you going to say yes? Are you going to give this a chance? up to you okay the hermit virgo queen of cups cancer again all right what else does aquarius need to know about the situation past life love your soul remembers this intense connection so you guys definitely have a past life together you have here and now your true love is already a part of your life Okay, what else do we have? Abundance. Yep, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. And also, last but not least, marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Okay. That's what we have, Aquarius. So all they want to know is yes or no. And for my masculines out there, obviously, you know, you could be the one proposing, popping the question to this person. And more than likely, they're probably going to say yes. I mean, I feel like that, okay? <laughs> I feel like it will go well. All right. Aquarius, what do we have? Trust issues. Let me get um, five more cards for Aquarius. Time to heal. Maybe some of you, you know... You just got out of something else and it's so soon that you're meeting this person that you have a lot of feelings for as well. And they're making, you're like, wow, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? This person's amazing, awesome. I actually have feelings for somebody else, you know, but I'm still healing from something prior. Well, it's up to you. Crying over you. Best they've ever had, okay? You have plans to propose. And you also have let me love you better. So there could be someone who can love you better or, you know, someone better for you. If this is new, right? 
So that's what we have, Aquarius. I feel like you and this person are in full alignment with each other, meaning like your goals, how you see life, you know, uh, what you want in a partner. Um, you guys are very similar. Like you have like a really good compatibility for sure. So it's up to you, Aqua, right? <laughs> you won't be expecting this, but that's what's coming. All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading, my loves, okay? And that it brought clarity to you. All right, love you all. Talk to you guys soon.